Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back for one last video for tonight. This is Saturday in case you haven't seen the rest of mine. I always like to start off with the day and the time. It's Saturday, November 23rd and it is 7.45 p.m. I wanted to read to you a couple of the comments that were left below the video I made sharing IBSD2's um, what she heard during her prayer time. She had asked Father something. I don't remember exactly the details now, but it, to make it clear, it was not a dream. She put it in a, another comment. She was surprised how many comments I got on this video and that she wanted to make it clear it was not a dream. She heard it audibly in her ears. Okay? First, the Sweetwater, Texas, I believe, then she heard Sweetwater, Tennessee, and Sweetwater, Florida. Now, I'm going to read to you this comment that Sister Lena left. She, her channel is Jubilina Redeemed. Sister, this is almost what area I saw in several dreams over the past year. It's the area... Of the new Madrid fault line. I too am right in the middle of it. It starts near Memphis and goes down taking out parts of Texas, all of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. I made several videos where I actually saw the map in a dream and I saw water rushing down, filling up Louisiana, where I live currently. I have been feeling a strong guidance to leave here soon. Maybe we will be on the road together. I'm wondering if that's why I may not be able to pay rent. See, she relies on people giving to keep her in a home and with food also. And I guess she usually gets that from her subscribers. There's, there's hurting people out there who really need our help. And we all have to remember that. Bec anyway, she said that way. Maybe why that... It, I'm wondering if that's why I may not be able to pay rent. Because the Lord doesn't want me here. I know you are aware the Lord has several meanings for one word. Now listen to this. Sweet water could be signaling that these states will be filled with water. And finally, the definition of sweet water is, now get this, Water treated to remove salts or noxious inclusions. End of quote. That went from water, quote, water treated to remove salts or noxious inclusions, unquote. We as believers in Christ are the salt of the earth. Wow. Amazing revelation. Get ready to mount up. Love, Lena. In other words, sweet water is water that has had the salt removed. And the salt is about to be removed from this world. Think about it. And then... That New Madrid fault is going to crack open. And those states, whoever is left behind, this is a warning. This could very well be a warning to get out of that area. It's possible. Now, I'm going to read one more.
Okay. From Melanie Gray Wolf. Hmm. That's very strange. I'd heard of Sweetwater, Florida. It's on the way to Miami. Looking on the map. It seems there is only one thing the cities may have in common besides their names that they make a big triangle over the Gulf of Mexico and they do they cross the Gulf of Mexico the line of the triangle goes across the Gulf of Mexico the only thing I thought of don't want to scare anyone and, and this is just what she thought of, okay? She's not claiming the Lord gave her this. But that the Russians have nuclear submarines there. I didn't know they had them there now. I knew they were there and left. Have they come back? I didn't know it if they did. But they could. They still got in and we didn't even know it. They proved to us that their submarines are made such a way our radar didn't even pick them up. So this is possible, okay? Um, maybe the Lord has given her revelation about the attack on U.S. during the tribulation. I mean, I hope not, but when I looked on the map, that's what I thought of. So, you know, from what I know about Melanie, you know, she hears things from the Lord too, and it could be. gets revelations and so forth. So those are two possibilities. Now, um, my friend... What is our our sister, uh, tr uh, not Trisha, but Patricia, she goes by Pat. She sent this on to her friend who does have a gift of dream interpretations. Uh, she said he's very busy and it could be a while before we hear from him. But, but if he brings back something that sounds more feasible, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay? All right, so that's all I wanted to say is an update on that dream. Cause, or not a dream, it was uh, words, audible words given to our sister whose channel is IBSD2. And um, I thank each and every one of you for putting a comment on that because this is something... I know is from the Lord. I know her. I feel in my spirit that what she gets is from the Lord. That's what I was saying. She doesn't put up many videos. She only puts up what the Lord gives her. As far as I can remember. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. I plead the blood of Jesus over it so it will go up. I pray... Let us pray for everybody. Well, you know, it's the whole United States and, and other countries. They're going to all be affected. I pray for everybody, first of all, that we'll be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. Don't forget that. The bride will escape these things. But we must keep the others in prayer. Let us pray that we remain worthy to escape. Keep your slates clean. Keep repenting and, you know, asking forgiveness for your sins. Live a holy life like Jesus said to. Like he were supposed to. Putting our flesh to death. And that's hard. We just got to stay living a righteous life. Two. Pray, pray, pray for those you love, for anyone on your prayer list. Let us, and any, I mean, it, it is so, it is such a huge amount of people.
But you know what? We serve a huge God. He's a great big God. He is over all of it. You could draw a huge map and, and a dot for every person. That's like nearly 8 billion. But he's so way bigger than that. So even if you just say, Lord, I pray for everybody in this area, or I pray for the whole world, everybody who's lost, anybody who's going to be left behind, that they don't lose their faith, that they remain strong, they keep trusting in you, and the ones who don't know you will turn to you. That's praying for the lost, it's praying for the Christians left behind, and you might not be saying a thousand words, but the Lord accepts a prayer like that, and He knows every single person that those little few words will cover. You see? But then if you want to pray specific prayers for those you know, someone's in pain, someone's in the hospital, someone's in financial need, and all you could give was 20, and you're praying, oh God, lay this person on many people's hearts. Let us not forget about the video I put up for Morella. And I was asking for 100 people to give $10. And my PayPal information is in that description box. Okay. And I aim to see that goal. I pray we'll make that goal. Let's get her fed. Let's get her housed for the month again. And please the Lord. All right. And that should not offend a single person. It should not. And if it does, you got a problem. And you should ask the Lord. Ask Him to reveal to you why people asking for help for the poor bothers you. Okay? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over all of you, your devices, my computer, our internet connections. And with that I say, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.